So what we see with first time buyers now, it's incredibly difficult to get into the market. Particularly in the area that I work, you're sort of looking at properties from Durban or Tim Schlonger, average price 3 million Rand for a property. So fundamentally it can become very, very difficult from a financial perspective to afford your first home. So I always say to people, go and see a home loan originator, a mortgage originator, and find out with your salary and your household income what you can afford and how much a bank will lend you. So that would be the first step that I'd say to people, get your finances in order. And of course, start saving for a deposit. When you have a deposit that you can put on a, a, for a property, the bank's gonna get you a better rate and a slightly better percentage over 20 years is gonna save you so much money over the long-term period of that bond. It's always better to have a deposit. And the average statistics now is that most people are buying with a 10% uh, deposit. So save up for your deposit. That's a, a, it's a, it's a good tip and you can start doing that straight away. So the second thing I'd say to people is understand or know what location you want to buy the property in. Everybody talks about location, 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 and it's true. Um, a good location is a sound base for a great long-term investment in your property. And some of the things that people look for is, A, the community that you want to live in. Is it the area that you grew up in? Is it the place that you want to see your kids growing up in? Uh, secondly, is the c community or the location secure? Security is probably the number one factor that buyers are looking for at the moment. So, you know, am I going to look into a complex in a particular area or is the area that I'm buying into a safe area? You can go and find statistics on security in any market. And then thirdly, a big one is schools. So a lot of the schools are um, taking applications based on people who live and reside in a specific catchment area. So if you want your kids to go to a particular school, you might need to be buying in certain suburbs. So that's some good research that needs to be done on, on, on the part of the buyer, is what location you want to go and invest in. So then the third bit of advice that I always give people is that you can spend all this time researching the market, sitting on the portals, looking for properties, but at some point you've got to come out from your computer and you've got to connect with a professional. And there's nobody in a marketplace that knows a property market better than a real estate agent, a good real estate agent who's active in the community. And they can give you real-time advice based on you know, how low you can go in with your offer. You know, if you're sitting on a portal or a website, you're looking at listing prices. Most homes don't sell for asking or listing prices. Homes will sell based on what value the buyer perceives in that property. And an agent will give you a great indicator of what the market's doing at that specific moment in time and where you should be coming in with your offer. And they'll also become the middleman in terms of the negotiation.